The Making of False Teeth False teeth not only allow the wearer to chew food easily but also help protect the gums. In earlier times, dentures were either made of animal bone, ivory or actual human teeth from dead bodies. But today's dentures are commonly made of ceramics. Let's find out how they are made. Impressions of the patient's mouth are taken by the dentist using wax-like material placed on an impression tray. A rough impression is thus made and it looks something like this. A plaster cast is produced using the impression. Next, special acrylic material is pressed into the model to form the base plate. A sheet of wax is heated and placed to form a rim on the base. A second impression is then taken to create a master jaw. The technicians select the best suited teeth for the patient. One by one, the teeth are held into place around the wax rim of the model. If the model fits well in the mouth of the patient, the denture is sent back to the lab to be customized. The model is then placed in a special holder and a channel is attached through which acrylic will be later injected. Now a plaster cast is made to hold the model in place. Once it dries, the model is placed in hot water. This melts the wax inside. The model is then washed and cleaned. Acrylic is forced into the flask through the channel fitted into the plaster cast. This acrylic fills in the space occupied by the wax and will hold the teeth in place. It is then put in boiling water for some time and this process hardens the acrylic. Plaster cast is easily broken down when it is cooled. The false teeth are now securely rooted in the acrylic gums. The base is trimmed, polished and cleaned. Let's have a look at the making of false teeth once again.